Hello everyone. I hope that you're all having a great day. My name is Aiden, and today I'm going to be discussing Ultimate Spider-Man Volume Number One. This collects is issues issues number one through seven. It was originally published between October 2000 and May of 2001. So I was about a year old when this came out. It was originally written by. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis with the artwork done by Mark Bagley and the inks those are also well done those are done by Art Thibbert and um, overall I really enjoyed this book I had never really gotten into Ultimate Spider-Man when I was younger um, obviously when it first came out I was you know little kid so couldn't really understand what was going on or relate to the characters but you know as I grew older I got a little bit interested in it picked up a couple of issues and liked it but I haven't gone back to the beginning of the series and that was a mistake I've learned in the past couple of days because this series is so well done the creators understand the characters and they just take the original character characteristics of the people in this world and they bring it into the 21st century. So Uncle Ben and Aunt May are still old, but you know, they used to be hippies in the 1960s. And Uncle Ben has a ponytail, Aunt May is kind of hot. And uh, you know, they're doing their best to raise Peter after his parents' death. And uh, Peter, he's got, you know, like that weird late 90s, early 2000s haircut, but um, it is what it is. Mary Jane, oh my gosh, the way she's drawn, it is, it, she looks so beautiful, it's crazy. She looks older than she is in the story. She's, she and Peter are 15, but she looks like she's at least 19 or 20. But she's hot. And uh, FBI, please do not come breaking down my door. I may be 21, but at the time, she was older than me. So, But uh, yeah, it also features the origin of not only Spider-Man, but the Green Goblin. And obviously, Uncle Ben dies. I mean, it's not really a spoiler. But uh, yeah, Uncle Ben dies halfway through this, actually, not in the first issue first couple of issues are Peter getting his powers and coping with it and trying to understand them. Then he starts wrestling under the name Spider-Man and then Uncle Ben dies and then Green Goblin is born and Spider-Man has to fight Green Goblin. That's basically this story in a nutshell but uh, let me show you some images here. This is the Daily Bugle in issue number six. We got J. Jonah Jameson, uh, Robbie Robertson, Ben Urick, Betty Brandt, you know, the classic uh, characters there. And uh, here's uh, Peter and Uncle Ben having a heart to heart. And uh, let me show you some of that Mary Jane. Uh, again, please don't be breaking down my door, FBI, because uh, she was older than me at the time. So uh, here's Spider Man wrestling. There is Mary Jane right there, the red-headed girl wearing the old navy shirt. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this story. Not much else I can say about it. Um, I do want to get some of the other issues. I think I read like maybe issue 20 or something like that when I was younger because they had some of the issues in the school library and um, I thought that that was pretty cool. Apparently, in this universe, Craven the Hunter is not Russian, he's Australian. I'm like, what? How can he be Craven the Hunter if he's not, you know, a descendant of the Tsar? But anyway. Also, uh, this does introduce Dr. Otto Octavius before he becomes Dr. Octopus. And he meets uh, Peter Parker. A lot of the movies nowadays from, you know, 2002 to now, Spider-Man movies take a lot of inspiration from this. In The Amazing Spider-Man, which came out in 2012, I think, this they take 
Uncle Ben's speech about responsibility right out of the page of this story. And in the original Spider-Man, they tweak it a little bit, but, you know, it's still the essence of it. But they flat out, you know, rip this off in Amazing Spider-Man, which I think is funny in retrospective. But, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, story, then uh, please tell me your thoughts about it in the comment section. And if you enjoyed my video, I would greatly appreciate it if you click the subscribe button and the like button so you can see more of my stuff and uh, leave any feedback you might have in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And yes, I did shave. It got too itchy for me, so I had to go. Also, I've been having a little hard time since uh, my girlfriend dumped me a couple weeks ago, but uh, I'll survive. Anyway, have a great day.